Sadaf Murad Qasim knows the struggle of dementia personally. My family had many health issues when I was growing up. I lost my dad when I was six and a half. And then within a one year, I lost my grandma with dementia. This is what made her go into nursing. She got a bachelor's in Pakistan and came to Canada to get a master's and now halfway through her PhD at the University of Alberta. Murad Kasim is now working on a paper on dementia, specifically in the South Asian community. She says there are many barriers, including the words dementia or Alzheimer's are not translatable in many languages. Moving to a new country is incredible, but it's stressful too. You are changing yourself. You're adapting to new culture. You're adapting to new weather. You're adapting to new language. The Alzheimer's Society of Canada estimates more than 770,000 people have the disease. More than 17 people are diagnosed every hour. It's believed by 2030, more than 1 million people will be diagnosed. Dementia can affect anyone, regardless of race, gender, and age. Specifically in the South Asian community living in Canada, there's a stigma with getting help. They feel sometimes scared to even go to doctors and say, I have some issues, because they feel of labeling stigma, uh, people will think I'm different, people will not give me care. One specific factor for increased risk of dementia that is being looked at is migration and coming to a new place. They remember their home country, they remember their home people, but they don't remember this country anymore. They don't remember the language they were talking for last 30 years when they were moved to Canada. Other common risk factors include stress, lifestyle like diet, and exercise level. Murad Kasim still has two to three more years of research ahead of her before completing her report and hopefully getting a doctor title next to her name. I hope to improve the care for dementia in acute care practices and especially for ethnic communities because when they go to hospital, hospital is a very scary place for them. In Edmonton, James Dunn, City News.